Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. You talked about something else in your book that's cool about an anabolic rebound after fasting. Mm-hmm. Tell me what tell me what you've written about there. Yes, yes. And uh so okay, here's um you've never met Henry, my co-author. No. Uh he's one of the smartest guys I've ever met. Uh just he's just awesome. And so I, I called him one day and I and I'm describing something. I'm like, well, every time I get done with like a fast, uh, whether it's a 24 hour fast or a 72 hour fast, whatever, I feel like I have like it's like it's like I went through puberty again for like a day and I just put on like a pound of muscle. Like all of a sudden I look a little different or, you know, like I was already leaner, but all of a sudden it's like muscle came on, but none of the body fat or, or even hydration even came back. It's just, I feel like I'm gaining muscle like at an abnormally high level. And so see, here's what I want you to do. And so the problem with the fasting studies is the fasting is generally looking for weight loss, fat loss. Uh, it's checking hydration, but it's also, mm-hmm. they're looking at body composition. So if somebody gains muscle in an abnormal way, it'll be recorded, but it probably won't be in the abstract. So what I want you to do is read the discussion section in, I think we were referencing 20 different fasting studies at the time. Mm-hmm. This is why we were writing the book. Read the discussion section and look for any abnormal gain in muscle mass. Because like the the researchers weren't looking for it. So they won't, it will not be the thrust of the study. The thrust of the study will only be about whether this is a good weight loss method or not. And so Henry says to me, he's like, that is like, like the chances of me finding that are next to zero. Like Mm -hmm. that's, that's a really specific request. And I said, just humor me. Just, just give me, and it was like, it was in the morning. I'm like, just give me the rest of the day. Give me seven hours. Just do this for seven hours. And he's like, all right. Calls me an hour later. And he's like, was this a trick? Did you read these already? <laughs> and I said, no, no. I, I mean, I, I was actually in the middle of meetings. I was at meetings all day long. I was traveling. And uh, I said, no, but tell me what you found. He goes, I found exactly what you were describing. And there's one specific study that just, they said, we, we can't explain why the fasting group gained 2.2 kilos of muscle. That's over five pounds of muscle Mm -hmm. uh, in 24 weeks. And they did not work out at all. Neither did the control yep. group. Of course, the control group lost a little bit of, of muscle because they were in caloric deficit, which is to be expected. Uh, and the fasting group gained five pounds of muscle doing nothing. It it seems like fasting might be good for you. I, I don't know. It, yeah, it's, I mean, weird. it's been a part of the Bulletproof diet since 2011, the intermittent fasting thing. It's like one of the first things you wrote about. Even, even when all you had was um, the Bulletproof executive website. Yeah. 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 You were talking about it back then. Because it, it was one of those things where I, I yeah. was seeing those results where I was feeling mm-hmm. better, uh, my muscle composition, and I was getting like I had abs for the first time, right. even though I'd done Atkins and I'd tried paleo and all that stuff. And yeah. I wasn't getting the results. It was like, just don't have breakfast already. It's not that hard. And I, I love it that that fasting has enough studies now that, you know, it's very hard to argue with the fact that fasting has metabolic effects. People say it yeah. doesn't. They're, they're lost in clown land where yeah. I have a belief if I'm wrong, I'm a bad person. Mommy won't love me. And, and they yeah. will never see new, new ideas because new ideas would make them bad people. Yeah, there's, there's a world. whole crowd yeah. of nutrition scientists out there that almost have like, a, like an orthodox like way of looking at things that actually is not scientific. It, they it's just miss anything yeah. that isn't caloric restriction because caloric restriction has more studies. Well, caloric restriction was studied for longer. 